OK, so we're going to look at the second part of the extract that you've got in your booklet from Act 1, Scene 5. Now, this is where Lady Macbeth has discovered that King Duncan is going to come to their castle um, and Macbeth enters as well. OK, so first of all, she says the raven himself is horse that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan. So the image of birds often comes up as a motif throughout the play and the raven here represents an ominous symbol of death because of course Duncan is going to die when he goes to their castle and please note as well she says under my battlements note the use of the word my and how that represents um, a sense of her own power and dominance over over the castle she says come you spirits so here she um look at the come in this scene is um, repeated three times. So lots of forceful language to emphasize her power. And she asks spirits to come to her. Now here's a memorable quotation. Everyone remembers this one, unsex me here. She wants to lose her gender, lose her femininity because she sees this as her essential weakness. Um, that she must shed in order to gain power. She asks to be filled from the crown, from her head to her toes, full of direst cruelty. She knows that she's got to, she's got to shed her morality, she's got to shed her femininity, anything or all goodness inside her in order to achieve power. She thinks she must be, the word is Machiavellian, she's, she's got to be quite cruel and evil in order to be um, a true leader. She says, make thick my blood, um, which is part of the um, series of images that we get in the play to do with transformation and change. Um, she thinks that she's, um, she's going to stop any access that guilt or remorse has. Um, then she says she's going to that if her th uh, blood is thick, it will stop any visitings of nature. So it will stop um, any feelings of remorse or guilt. And it's another image that we're getting in the play and um, very often of the unnatural. She then says, come to my woman's breasts, take my milk for gall. And here she is saying instead of milk which is a representation of motherhood and femininity she's asking for the milk to be replaced by gall like poison so she wants again another really strong image of her wanting to shed what she thinks is her weakness murdering ministers you can label that she's talking about demons essentially she's appealing to demons to take her over so she can do what it takes um, again, we've got the, um, the word come repeated for the third time here, emphasising her, pu um, her purpose and her power. She says, Paul thee in the dunnest smoke of hell. Now, that's a really common image that we get in the play, the idea of being hidden or out of sight. She appeals for the hells of um, the smoke of hell to sort of hide what they're doing so that it's unseen. She repeats that when she says um, the blanket of the dark as well. She wants her true purpose, her true nature to be hidden from everyone around her.